for our first team coming from France, Romain Telemark and Luca Colin. 13 to 17 years of age. This is their first Junior Grand Prix event. And fourth after the short. They're going to need a 65.64 to take the lead. Romain Telemark and Lucas Coulon from France. And you talked about the French input in terms of the, the creativity and interesting to see them choose such original music for the free skate for this young French pair. Yeah. Well, they had some success on some of the elements and it'll be interesting. I took the group five toe lift really careful lift but they came back with a group three lift which is significantly better quality well, look at the difference yeah. between those two lifts and here is the double twist off the top of the program in a level two so that's pretty good nice speed there's the double lutz after that was easy and here is the the group five toe lift pull through underneath walk the right foot pick to the ice lift goes up but just a little cautious. You can see a little bit of snow in the turns there for Luca. They get it done. No problem there. 
But this next left, there's no problem. The group three left. Mm, this will come up. I wonder if I have it. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Hey. Nice and smooth. Good speed. Look at the ice coverage here. Nice and smooth turns. Good position by Romain. Nice arch on that platter as well. And then the dismount. So distinctly two different quality in those lifts. Nice throw. Double flip. And the double flip, double toe right at the end of the program. Just a bit of a step oh. out there. And but overall. Interesting construction of the program because they're obviously not using the harder side-by-sides or the harder throws. So just a different element construction, the composition of the program than perhaps we'd see from others who've got more challenging technical elements. Yeah, it was interesting to see the three jump combination at the end of the program. Yeah. Different. Not conventional. Lane <laughs> looks shaking his head going. <laughs> Yeah, always listen, watching their facial expressions and body language, kind of get a feel for how they feel about the program. And overall, I think that was pretty good for the stage of development this team is at. Certainly some things they like back, but not bad and, at all. Yeah, and they did the Bavarian Open, which is really big international. That was where they were first in the advanced novice competition. So obviously now pushing into juniors, 13 years old, 17 years old. So mm. they should be delighted to find themselves in this top group after the short program. And it looks like they're going to maintain that above the six other teams that have already competed. Yeah, and then it'll be up to the next team. I mean, will they actually move up a spot under the bronze medal position? We'll see. Their coach is listed as Emily Anai Telemax. So I have to assume a relation, but I'm not sure exactly. But you know, again, confirming that this family affair, so many of the skaters working with parents and family members to support them. Yeah, it, it, it's right. You know, it's true. It's you seem to we seem to see that more often now than we did in the past, where families, full families, are involved from a coaching perspective. And even some of the siblings are coaching <laughs> their, yes, lots, their family yeah. members, yeah. And there's quite a few. There's five uh, reviews, pardon me, four reviews coming in for the technical panel. They just cleared those out, so we should get the scores in just a few moments. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. There's a lot of work for the technical panel. <laughs> nice dance as well. But in Paris skating, <laughs> especially in juniors, there's lots to look at here. It's not always 100% clear. Good to see that of the 10 elements, eight of them had a, a good grade of execution or at least base value. So that's a sign that this is a team that's well prepared and, and attempted elements that were within their skill set at this stage, not going for anything beyond what they're capable of. Yeah, that's a good point, Mark. And when you take a look at the report card, you sort of get a feel for, okay, my quality is getting better. So maybe we can start to move the level of difficulty up. So the strategy between how difficult do I want my elements versus how much is it costing me or am I gaining on the GOE score, the, the quality. So there's two sort of strategies. And quite often, early on in the system, coaches were all going for the most difficult elements. And then they yeah. sort of realized, hmm, maybe we should just go for quality here. Here's the score, 76 points for the free program. <laughs> he goes, wow, that's a good awesome. reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Great reaction. That's first place in the free. And total competition score of 119.46. I think <laughs> they're thrilled. There you go. Hey. They are thrilled. Look at that. Another group hug.